guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another war video. This is the second war of season three. Um, we lost the first one, unfortunately, so fingers crossed this one turns out better. We are currently going up against, um, I think, a Chinese alliance. I'm not totally 100% sure. Not great with foreign languages. Um, but <laughs> anyway, they were gold one last season. They have a 2200, almost 2300 war rating with a 17.2 million alliance rating. So let's jump into this one. So the first node um, is, you know, special enhanced, and we've got a six star cosmic on here. Um, so I bring in the usual team of Star Lord, Ghost Rider, and Blade, and, and I'm on path two again this time. So the Cosmic Champ ends up being a Black Bolt, and you know, he's simple enough. I brought in Ghost Rider for, you know, the class advantage. Uh, Black Bolt, his special ones, they're pretty easy to evade, and if you do end up just blocking them, they don't, you don't get a whole lot of block damage there, so no real big issues. Um, I want to keep him <laughs> away from his special too, because every now and then, um, yeah, they catch me on the tail end. <laughs> so, that kind of sucks, but <clears throat> it's, I think it's the whole, like, I forget to do the double dash back, or, or I just don't time it right, something like that. So, anyway, we're just wailing away. I, I threw a heavy there in, a heavy right there, because um, I want to try to get a regen get uh, Ghost Rider some heal so that, you know, he's up to 100%. So the next node is a little bit of strike back. We've got a four star science on here and I bring in Star Lord because he's, he's the all around champ. I didn't know who it was going to be and it actually turns out to be an abomination, which, you know, my theory on, a, on abominations is always put them where they're not expected. <laughs> on poison nodes, they're expected to be there so it doesn't make any sense to put them there, but this is decent placement for him. You know, he, he is doing some poison damage, unfortunately, to Star-Lord, but not enough to kill him. Star-Lord makes quick work of him. So now this next note is the enhanced abilities, you know, enhanced bleed. We've got a four-star skill on here. Now, usually I see Gwenpool, but not this time. This time it's Agent Venom. And you know, that's actually not a bad placement for him. And uh, so, you know, I bring my all around champ Star Lord in. He's, he pretty much eats these nodes. I mean, he's just wailing away on Agent Venom here. I, um, I wanna push him to his special two because I actually find his special two easier to evade than uh, his special one. And you know, you don't have to take that block damage, but he goes down easy enough. And so now we are at the um, enhanced power gain node at the top of the map. And then this is where things get hairy. So I decided to pop a 20% boost up. Um, so I have full energy to clear the whole path and uh, one shot. We've got a five star mystic champ here. I really wasn't sure who it was going to be. There were no charges, so, but it actually ends up being a magic, and with Blade, mm, he just tears through that magic. I mean, you just, the only thing you got to watch is uh, you don't want to push her to her special three, and this is where things get a little bit hairy, because I'm thinking I'm about to push her to her special three, so I'm just trying to bait her special two out, you know, before she gets up to that third bar of power. But, you know, she ends up throwing it. I drop my special two. Down she goes. <laughs> so now we are at the uh, enhanced special one node. We've got another mystic. It's a five star unduped mystic. I figured it was gonna be a Mordo. I just had a feeling it was gonna be a Mordo. And it is. So I'll, I'll tell you what, this, this, this path was made for Blade. I mean, he's gonna make short work of this Mordo. I do get caught right here. I don't know. I don't know if I just like drop my block or, or what happened there. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to get him down before he, he gets to his special three. So I drop my special two and I'll tell you what, his special two is just straight up nasty. So badass. <laughs> All right. So now we have another mystic champ so I decided to pop a heal in on blade because you know I don't want it, him to take that bane damage 
even though he's gonna take some of it. I just don't want him to die from it. So I wasn't sure who it was gonna be and it ends up being um, my favorite, Juggernaut. <laughs> so we just bring Blade in. Like I said, this this path, like I said the last fight, this path was, it was made for Blade. Um, I think the last time, uh, last war on here, it was an unstoppable Colossus, but this one's just a juggernaut, and I see the reasoning behind it. Um, it's not a stun immune, so you know you can easily transfer that Bane back, even if he is unstoppable. So you know that works out pretty good. I drop a nut, I drop my SP2, and the big boy goes down. All right, so now we got some mini boss action, and it's a kingpin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring in Blade so that I can get the uh, villain synergy. I am not a fan of Kingpin. I hate this guy. He always catches me one way or the other. And you know, you know, <laughs> I feel like everybody has those champs that they just hate and Kingpin is definitely one of mine. But anyway, my whole strategy here is just trying to bait out those special ones. So special twos are unblockable, so I'm trying to keep him at that L1, but you know, the thing with Kingpin is that he goes unstoppable, and when he does, it always catches me off guard, so I hate it when that happens. But I'm doing pretty good so far, I'm just, you know, try, trying to get him to keep throwing that special one. This node does have power gain on it. So, you know, I'm not getting as many hits in as I would probably like, and I know eventually I'm going to push him to that special two. So I drop my special to do two, my special two, sorry, I can't talk, and, uh, you know, try to do as much damage as I can, and then it's just, you know, rinse and repeat, but finally I do push him to that special two. And even blocking, this this thing takes a lot of damage. I mean, the, the decks took a good bit out of it, but, you know, I didn't want to take that much damage. So I dropped my special two, and the big boy finally goes down. So, that was our last contribution to the war. So how did we do? Well, we won, and MVP won. Oh yeah. So, you know, I think overall we did pretty good. Our uh, quest back to Platinum is looking promising, but it's still early yet. So, I think that's all that I got. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks, guys. Bye.